Allied troops on patrol in the safe haven of northern Iraq. Under their protection, the Kurds who fled to the mountains have returned. It's a semblance of normality at best, and some wonder whether it will remain when the Allies withdraw. But even as the negotiations on autonomy drag on, Kurds are already in practice working with the Iraqi authorities. At this police station, Iraqi police and Kurdish officials work side by side, distributing aid and benefits. These Kurds working with the Iraqis are from the KDP, the biggest Kurdish political group. But increasingly there's unease at this sort of cooperation and fears it will allow Saddam quietly to re-establish his control and do what he wants once the Allies have gone. <laughs> Jibo istipale millet tu çare nine. Jibo vi hemi ahsap çıbikin ne yapıva ev jibo armancı xeşer bikin. Ev jibo armancı xeşer bikin. Hükmü zati net et işte. De demek ki gel ki kında. Demek ki gel ki kında. Hükmü zati çiye evi bey huya kirin. Siyasete ki ve ahzabana demeşinin. Zedeti demokratu yekiti. Siyasete ki vana demeşinin bey huya kirin. Azad used to be an official with the KDP, but left, accusing it of collaboration with Saddam. Now he's helping set up a new group, the Kurdish Socialist Party, or PAK. PAK's quietly been cultivating support in the towns and cities of northern Iraq. It accuses the established parties of being a club of feudal landowners, elitist and remote from the people. It finds its heroes instead in the guerrillas of the PKK in Turkey, a Marxist group run along the lines of the Viet Cong in the 60s, or Peru's shining path today. Puck's strategy is two-pronged, politics in the cities, but armed struggle in the countryside. Azad took us up into the White Mountains, just outside the hook. <laughs> Pucks say they've set up bases in the mountains where they have armed guerrillas waiting and watching. This almost invisible pack guerrilla camp is situated within the Allied, supposedly weapons free, northern Iraqi security zone. In camps like this, dotted throughout the northern Iraqi mountains, disaffected Kurds are gathering. They believe the established Kurdish politicians have looked to the West for support for long enough. Now, in conjunction with the PKK, they are planning an all-out guerrilla war. Until now, the PKK, or Kurdish Workers' Party, has operated only in Turkish Kurdistan. But when you reach Puck's camps, the links with the PKK are obvious. Badges on uniforms, rifles and grenades. And Puck openly admits it shares their aim. Armanjama ve yani amkabatı gibi birken bu Kurdistan'a ki yani serbako. Armanjama ve yani işbirliği hem de yaptı. Hatta yani lafım ev Kurdistan'a ki serbako olmak için başı hem yani bize bunu mola. Yani Armanjama da ki ona mesela işçi ev. In the mountains just inside Iraq, PKK guerrillas train. Though well organized and disciplined, strong regimes on both sides of the border have so far contained their operations. But with the chaos of the Kurdish uprising and the arrival of Allied troops in the area, they believe the situation has changed and allowed them to expand their guerrilla struggle out of Turkey and into Iraq. Kuzey Kurdistan, yani Türkiye Kurdistan ile. Güney Kürdistan dediğimiz Irak Kürdistan arasındaki hudut da fiilen kalkmış oluyor. Güney ve Kuzey parçaları birleşmiş oluyor. Ee, bu da faaliyetlerimiz açısından e, yeni bir dum, durumun doğmasıdır. Yani Kürdistan devriminin e, yeni bir nitelik kazanması, yeni, yeni bir döneme gir, girmesidir. What the PKK are bringing to northern Iraq is organization. The Kurds here have always had a gut opposition to Saddam, but little cohesion. And with the discipline and organization comes a heavy dose of ideology. Days begin early for a PKK recruit, with six hours of political instruction. 
teaching a classic Maoist philosophy, class struggle, anti-imperialism, the need for revolution in all of Kurdistan. PKK recruits are taught to treat women as equals, who will fight, study and live alongside the men. Many of its recruits are young but determined. Bizim insanımız kendi toprağımız, kendi güzelliklerimiz içerisinde yabancı yetişiyoruz. Yani bunun için ve bu halkın bu ezilmişliği için evet ben üzülürüm yani insan öldürmek kolay bir olay değil. Ama gerekirse yani ailem dahi karşımda olsa ben yaparım. This may be part of the Allied safe haven, but from what we saw the PKK are able to operate freely. Increasingly they say they want to move their headquarters to here from the Bekov Valley in Lebanon. It would shorten and consolidate their communication. But above all, it would allow them to keep up with developments in the Kurdish towns of Iraq. The emergence of Puck is crucial for this. It gives the PKK a foothold inside Iraq and a vehicle for its revolutionary politics. Politics which are bitterly opposed to the West's presence. They believe the Allies want to keep Iraq's borders unchanged, thus preventing an independent Kurdistan. And with that belief comes a threat that the guerrilla war in Turkey will spread to northern Iraq. Tishtiko tekerin milletime tekne olan silah ejdas son birin. Ban zayıf bekinin mecbur bekin ko Saddamo devleti Türkano ahzabe kevne peres çe böjin milleti bin otorite vanda bu meşe. Tishtiko te huyakerin vana bir siyaset idi meşinin. High in the mountains, guerrillas move freely across the border, back into Turkey. Three months ago, Kurds fled here to be safe from Saddam's army. Now, a communist guerrilla group has moved into the vacuum that followed. No one knows for sure how strong the PKK really is, nor how much support they will get. But for the moment, they have an opportunity, and they're using it. Thank you.